first experience for these kids. After two minutes of play, we're leading by one. It's very exciting. What I'm excited to see these kids play the ball. That's it. We're doing good. We're doing good. Back, 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 back. I'm Aaron and welcome to Aaron Plays. Today we're at my first hockey tournament. We already started a few games for practice and uh, it's going pretty well. Some people it's their third or fourth or fifth time but me it's my first time. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell, leave a like, uh, leave a comment down below. In the game it's more intense, you have to run more. And every few minutes, you get very exhausted. That's why you do change-ups in three minutes. Our team is called Samurai. It's a samurai. It's a Japanese warrior that never gives up. It means that we should never give up, obviously. I'm very excited for the rest of the game. Stay tuned. That's it, boys, my boys, it's good. Hey China, how are you? My name is Mark. Happy to be uh, talking with you this morning. We're here in beautiful uh, Drummondville, Quebec which is located right in the middle of the province of Quebec. Uh, we're uh, holding today a tournament for kids, deck hockey tournament. Uh, we have kids coming from all over the province of Quebec. So there's many divisions going from 7 years old to 14 years old. So the format of the tournament is quite simple actually. So they play many games, 3 to 4 games to qualify for the playoffs. It's 3 on 3. They play a game of about 30 minutes a game. Uh, usually on uh, each team there's uh, six to nine players, that's a, a co coach's choices to see how they want to navigate through their strategy. Uh, the kids play their games and then this afternoon we'll have the finals and see who's the champion of the province of Quebec. So basic thing about this tournament and any tournaments that we put together in Quebec is to make sure that we get as many kids playing, many kids improving and having fun together. So the setup is quite interesting because there's many activities for the kids they're all together uh, they can eat together play together and have their games watch their games encourage everybody just to have fun so the purpose of this game is just have fun improve in the game and get to the next level just by having fun so we had the nice privilege to welcome a year ago uh, aaron from china that, that joined our program deck hockey program when he started it was funny because Obviously Aaron knew nothing about the hockey, the equipment, the way it was played and all that. But a year after, because he worked very hard and he's enjoying himself while playing this game, he's here in the tournament with us in Drummondville. So he played his two first official games in the tournament and he did very, very, very good. So I see a smile on his face, I see him having fun and I see him wanting to go to the next level. So it's good, it's fun and I'm really happy to see Aaron here with us and it's a privilege to see average improve so much like this. Now we're gonna talk about six fun facts about deck hockey. Streak hockey, also known as deck hockey. Ball hockey, road hockey. It's a variation of the sport of ice hockey where the game is played outdoors on foot or in line or roller skates using a ball or puck. Both ball and puck are typically designed to be played on non-ice surfaces. Fact number one. It's known that hockey has been around since at least 1363 when Edward III of England banned the sport in a royal proclamation. However, the histories of many cultures include playing games with curved sticks dating as far back as 4,000 years ago to ancient Egyptian times. Fact number two, it's believed that the word hockey originates from the Middle French word hockey, which means shepherd state. Today, there are many types of hockey, including ice hockey, field hockey, 
roller hockey, sled hockey, and a favorite among kids, street hockey. Fact number three. Despite all the variations of when hockey was first played, the first organized hockey game played indoors occurred in 1875 in Montreal, Canada. Fact number four. The first huck used during the outdoor hockey in the 19th century was made out of frozen cow dung. Fact number five. The NHL National Hockey League was established in 1917. Fact number six. Bobby Hull shot the fastest Puck in recorded history at 118 miles per hour. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, most importantly, ring the notification bell. That's how you know when my videos come up and you'll be one of the first to watch it. Also, leave a comment or question. I really want to talk to you guys. See you guys next time.